The bag of engrams technique is same as the bag of words technique, but we have to do one small thing while creating our vocabulary. So we can choose n is equal to 2, 3 or 4. Let us see how we can do it for bigrams. So we have our data set with 13 words in total and 3 sentences or document. When creating the corpus, we take set of 2 words at a time and they should be adjacent to each other. In bag of words technique, each word behaved as one unit. But in bag of bigrams, the two adjacent words behave as one unit. Similarly, in bag of trigrams, three adjacent words will behave as one unit and so on. So, from the first sentence, we take my name, name is, is Bond, Bond James and James Bond. We cannot take my Bond because they are not adjacent to each other. The set of two words are called bigrams. Then we repeat this process for other sentences and put all the bigrams in the corpus. Now, we create the vocabulary by keeping unique bigrams and discarding the rest. And the rest of the process is same as bag of words. So let us see how we can do that. We always start with the vocabulary. We pick the first bigram and then search for it inside our document or the sentence. We write 1 if it is present once, 2 if twice and 0 if it is absent. Notice that the order of words is important. Bond James is not the same as James Bond. Now we repeat this process for other two sentences and we have our entire data set vectorized. And because we search from vocabulary, we always get a uniform vector length. Our bigram vocabulary had eight words, eight bigrams, and therefore every sentence is converted to a eight digit vector irrespective of the length of the statement. These videos and animations take a long time to create, so please support us by subscribing our channel.